today we are gonna do a quick review of the Gamma Trimmers. Uh, but the Gamma Trimmers with the Filthy Blends mod. You got a Gamma Trimmer. Tell you why. Okay, so first, look at uh, I got three. Everybody to the camera. I got the poke. We got the, we got the, we got the Evo X. Put it up in there, right there. Put it up Let's in there. Right there. Let me see if it can. We have to adjust that little. There it goes. Bam. We got the Evo X. We got the regular Evo, and then we got the Gamma. We got the Gamma hitters. Okay, so with the regular Evos, I don't have the the factory uh, Gamma blade that comes on this because I didn't like it. Okay, I didn't like it. Um, I didn't like the really way it felt, felt a little rough on the skin. So I switched it out uh, to the P3 ever since blade. It's a good blade, it's actually a good trimmer, but I'm still thinking about throwing that Filthy Blends mod on it. Okay, so these two right now, the Gamma, the Ergo X, uh, it has the Filthy Blends mod on it. And this is the Andis GTX blade. And this one right here, it goes hard, man. A lot of power, you can, as you can see, you can hear them, a lot of juice. But my favorite, my favorite out of all of them because I'm not really a guy that's into big trimmers. I like the, the hitters, okay? So the, the Gamma hitters. And the Gamma hitters actually has the Babyliss gold effects. As you can see, it's not too loud. These right here, they go. If you're looking for trimmers, I know everybody's real big on Babyliss. Some people prefer the Andis. I got the Andis GTX, the Skeleton. What the um, GTX at? I got, let me grab them. These are still two. I like these though too. Don't get me wrong. Put them up in the cap. Put them, put don't, them up in the cap. Don't get me wrong. I like these two. Just the black and gold. It matches our shop uh, color scheme. The ergonomics are good. They're small. They feel good in my hand. These got power. These got power. They got more power than the regular, than the original and this cordless TI liner. So I like those. Honestly, I was just strictly Babyliss when Babyliss came out because really that blade on the Babyliss is like to me, is the, is one of the best blades. Either the regular gold, the gold effects, or that graphite 2.0 blade. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with that blade. So. What about the chainsaws? So these right here, his pair, he don't like them. My pair, they hit perfect. They hit perfect. I don't even got them here at the shop. I kept them at the house because I got a, I got three boys, and so I got to keep them fresh. So I keep them at the house. But mine hit perfect. And those, they just remind me too much of the of the Slimline Pros. I really wasn't a fan of the Slimline Pros. Uh, a lot of people still like the Slimline Pro. I, me, personally, I didn't like them. Clipper, a trimmer review. If you're looking for some trimmers, I would recommend the ga the Gamma Hitters, but with the Filthy Blend mod on them. You ain't going to go wrong. Trust me. I, I don't I don't get no I don't get no credit for, for shouting out Filthy, filthy Blends, but um, I like the mod. I like the mod, and, and since I modded mine out, these are really, really, these are the only trimmers I've been using. As you can see, the mods, they got that green in them. They got that green in them, so those are the modded ones. Um, like I said, I still got my Babyliss. You know, I still got my Babyliss. I still got my, I, I got my customized ones. Of course, I got my uh, patty cuts. Patty cuts. I got my patty cuts uh, edition. We call them patty cakes. Patty cakes. He called them patty cakes. <laughs> <laughs> but I got my patty cuts. These was gold. These was gold. I actually like this blade. These was yeah. actually go pretty hard those too. Those are my favorite. So I'm thinking about putting this blade or just buying another hitter, get another filthy mod, and throwing this blade on them. And uh, we'll see how that works, okay? So that's a quick trimmer review. If you're looking for trimmers, I know I got a lot of stuff in my hands. This ain't even it, man. I got I got more trimmers than this, but these are my go-to. These are my go-tos right now. Uh, these are my go-tos. If go -to you had one trimmer. But if you had one trimmer. Out of all these in your hand, what, what trimmer would you ooh, keep? If I had to pick one trimmer for... for Everything. For balding, for lining. Oh, that's tough, man. It's actually tough. No, okay, so I don't know, man. I, I would honestly say... Yeah, I would probably do the, the Filthy Mod with the GTX on there, man, because that one just, it mows through the hair. I'm going to give you guys a quick video of that. If you go to my, I got it on my IG. I'm going to post it on my IG in a minute. But uh, I got a video of, of, really, yeah, I'm going to have to go with the either the Babyliss Filthy Mod or the, or the GTX Filthy Mod. If I had to use that for my every, everyday trimmer, that's what I'm going to go with. Because just like I say, they fit good in my hand. They got enough power. They got enough juice to get through the hair. And, and you know, they're legit. They're legit, they go, okay? So that, those are my go-to trimmers. Now, as far as shavers, what we got here? As far as shavers, okay, you see the difference. What, what we doing, man? What you we doing? Difference. Which one's better? So, the better shaver is the FX3s. The FX3s are more, are more smoother. They don't gotta stand. That, that's, that's a knock. 
uh, but they're more smoother and they're not as loud. They're not as loud. And uh, every kind that I've used them on, it says that they have less irritation. So and the um, foil hasn't broke yet. And the foil hasn't broke. I go through and this foil is like crazy. Like the corner chip, something breaks on them. I don't know how many foil. We probably bought enough foils to buy a new machine as far as with these Andis shavers, but the FX3s, uh, those really go. I haven't used the new Andis one. Um, I'm interested to see how that one works. I'm waiting for those to break before I buy some new ones. I haven't <laughs> used the uh, I haven't used the Gamma one yet, so I can't really give you an honest review on that one. If you want the granddaddy of them all, can't go wrong with this, the Bronze Series 9. A lot of people don't like it because it's bigger, <laughs> but you can cut, you can literally, you can literally cut hair out of one with this. And it's no irritation. So just imagine if you're you don't gotta bought out the fade all the way to the skin before you use your shaver. You can just use this, and it's gonna be very cost efficient. And it gets through the hair, and it gets into the skin, and it doesn't cause irritation. It's just a little big, so it's hard to get into those tight spaces. Um, so that's why usually I'll use this, and then if I have to get into some tight spaces and do some detail work, um, I can use my FX3s, or I can use my Stylecraft Unos. Y'all don't know about them. Y'all know what that is. Y'all know about them. It's about like this big. I got it, but it's in my car. What's the go-to clipper right now? Go-to clipper right now for me? You know what, man? I, I kind of had, <laughs> I kind of had, uh, I kind of neglected my masters. I was really, honestly, to be honest, I, I was all gamma. So I got. I'm getting a damn video. These, these are the only two. These, this is what I have at the shop, but I got more. So you I got the wide angle lens, and he's so big, I can't even fit in it in the screen. <laughs> I got the, I got the mythics. I got the so stylecraft and gamma. And gamma is the same thing. So I got the Stylecraft Mythics with the Fusion Blade on them. These are legit. They're legit. They they cut through bulk. You can fade with them. You can blend with them. Uh, the only thing is they're a little on the heavy side. Um, so that's the only knock about them. And the paint is chipping and off. And the paint chipped off immediately. That's what I don't like, dude. The, the Those paint, things look like they came from a yeah, these secondhand things, store right they, they look like they've been How old are those? They, they ain't even that old. These are not even six months old, man. I got them when they first dropped. Put them up on the camera. We'll I don't know if you can see all that paint chipping. You can see that right there. They, they It looks like it's designed, but it's not. The paint's just chipping off of them. So Camouflage. That's the really, my, my big my biggest knock on these is that uh, the paint was whack. Um, and then I got the Ergo Xs, the Gamma Ergo Xs. Uh, these are hard. I got the regular. I, th these came with a different blade, but I didn't like the blade because the blade was snagging. You don't like no blade on nothing. I don't. I, 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 really <laughs> don't. I changed all my blades. <laughs> I change all my blades. If, like, if I don't like the way it feels, I change all my blades. So I got the Ergo X. Uh, these ones are powerful, they're quiet. The, the Mythics, you can't even hear them turn on. Like I say, they got a lot of power, they got a lot of juice. But honestly, I've been biased lately. I've just been going back to the Masters, man. The Masters, there's something about that Masters blade. I might, once again, Filthy Blends has a, has a mod where I can throw the Master blade on these. So I either might throw it on these, I might just throw it on my regular Ergos, or I might just throw it on another clipper and we'll see how it goes. But I do got the cordless masters. Copper ones. Classics. So I see it today that they just released these, these cordless masters in copper with a black, with a black carbon fiber blade. So carbon fiber? Yeah, man. Oh no. So I don't know. I don't know. It's probably gonna be like 350 bucks. I don't know about all probably that. 400. Maybe 400. Uh, really, I really want the gold masters. Just so like, once again, like, it can complement our shop, our color scheme. I did hear that the gold chips off. I didn't hear that. If the gold chips on the gold ones, then I don't want them because I'm not about to spend three hundred dollars and the clippers are gonna chip off. Um, but yeah, so these ones, of course, you can never go wrong with Master. It's probably one of the best blades out there for fading. Uh, blade ever. It, yeah, that, that, it's arguably. Um, I'm not a wall guy, so I don't use seniors. Hold on. A lot of he does. Hold on. He does. Not me. Not me. I don't. I don't. Uh, I'm not really. I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of wall. I've never really used the wall senior blade or the wall period. I mean, I've cut, I've cut with them, but but that's not my preference. If I if I had a preference, oh yeah, and then are you ready for this? No, so we we gonna have to have a separate a separate video for this. Separate video for this thing, man. Cause subscribe to the channel. I got I got some stuff to say about this one. <laughs> and in the course of the Babylon's uh, Clippers, um, I like I like these. I had to change the battery because the, the original batteries that come with these suck. He changed the battery, no. but I bought it. So you know how it is. Uh, but I, I did, I put the 245 battery in here and uh, they work a whole lot better. But yeah, these right here are honestly, a lot of people don't like them, but 
Uh, these are actually one of my favorite clippers. I like these. I like these to do tapers. Um, they're really good for yeah. tapers. Um, it gives you a clean, smooth it's blade. It's a good blade. It's a good blade. It's a good blade. It's a good blade. So this isn't the stock gold blade. This is the black graphite blade, but it's pretty much the same as the stock gold blade. Just it's black graphite. I have another pair that has a fade blade on there. But yeah, this is actually a really, really good blade. It's good for detail work. So I think I think where it, where it loses is that on on the on the power side. It's yeah. not really it's not really a lot of power in it. Those new gamma. What are those the SCs? Those are real, real strong. Yeah, I use those. Yeah, the mythics, you you won't have no problem with you the can, mythics. You can cut through anything. anything with that. Yeah, anything. It's gonna go through it. It's not gonna bother. Are, are they master strong? They are. They are. They are. They got about the same juice as the masters. They're gonna get through. And so this is a, these are a little bit stronger than seniors. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Just a little bit. And seniors are even with the two forty five battery, they still chug a little bit, but they cut good. Yeah, got to work a little bit. So. Of course, everybody has their preference, but you got to find a clipper that works flat for you. Flat blade. You don't like the senior blade? I don't like the senior blade. You don't like the flat blade? I, not honestly, no. The fade blade. So the only fade blade that I really that I really like is the fade blade that comes on the Ergo. That's a good blade. That's a really good blade. And then maybe, maybe the fade blade uh, for the Babylon. But I don't like the senior flat blade. I don't like the master's flat, uh, flat blade. It just, I don't know, it's, it does, the I don't know. The like flat it. blade pokes everything. Oh man, that's like a surgical blade. Yeah, You'll pull somebody's just, skin off. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's yeah. a, that's a no-go. The fusion blade though, I would say this about the fusion blade is it's a mix. So it gives you kind of the flat blade cut in a sense, but you're still also to get that detail, that detail work in. So it's a good blade. It's a good blade. The fusion blade is a good blade. You just got to be careful because some of them, when I got my first one, I had to send it back because it was snagging a lot. So it's just all the way you set it. That's the way you, you set, set it. Back it. You got to push it back a little bit. You can't zero gap it all the way to the I don't zero gap none of my clippers. I do. I, I zero gap everything. Everything got to get zero gap. He's a zero gap. I'm a non-zero gap. Yeah, he just cuts them. Sometimes I cut them out the box. It just depends. Depends on how they're working. But majority of the time, I'm, I'm zero gapping everything, man, just to get the kind of the look, the look I want for, for the haircut. So... But yeah, you guys got to stay tuned for this 245 compressor review. Because <laughs> um, we go, we go get Bam! Look we'll get the other one. What? <laughs> you guys want to stay tuned for this one, man. Because it's going to be, it's going to be, a, it's going to be a good one. Look, 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 look. This is what we got left. This is what's left of it. So we, we had two of them. So, so just stay tuned for this review, man. Because this review is going to go up, man. A lot of people. But uh, we just got to keep it real, right? <laughs> gotta keep it real. Put information out there, man. Because barbers will stick together. All right, barbers stick together. So subscribe to the channel. His channel is Adrian Haynes. My channel is AJ underscore DA underscore barber. Um, we're going to have a lot of content coming for you guys this new year. My Instagram. He's a, he's my Instagram, Instagram, I'm a, Instagram I'm more Instagram guy. He's not Instagram. He's a YouTube guy. I'm an Instagram guy. I'm a guy. YouTuber. So. Oh. My Instagram is the same as my is the same as my YouTube is AJ underscore D A underscore Barber. Okay, and then also too check this out. Follow our shop or our, it's not even a shop. It's a studio, barber studio. Uh, we talked about that. Barber studio, A plus barber studio. Look it up. All, all kinds of fresh cuts on there. Everything. So we got some more content coming for you guys. So make sure you subscribe. All right.